that forecast for today. It was a warm one, but a beautiful one. Lots of sunshine out there. More to come as we head into the weekend. I'm Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis taking a look over the harbor. It's absolutely beautiful. So we have a great shot looking towards Coronado Bridge. Also, still got that sunshine out there. Your sunset's not until a little bit after 8 p.m. tonight. 77 degrees for downtown. Downtown hit a high of 80 degrees for today. We'll also have some more clouds moving into the scenery, as well as some winds that are out of the west-northwest at 12 miles per hour currently, but those look to calm down later on tonight. So a shallow marine layer looks to move in. We're still going to have an onshore flow, even with these warm temperatures, so when you have that onshore flow and that marine air moving in, it's really going to favor the coast as we hit the next couple of overnights. So for tonight and to tomorrow morning, repeat performance, the potential will be there for some uh, patchy dense fog as well. It, everything will clear out by the afternoon hours. Taking a look at the advisories that are in play, we have a heat advisory for the inland valleys as well as the mountains and dangerously hot temperatures for the desert. That will last from Saturday morning all the way until Monday night with an excessive heat warning for the desert. So we have an area of high pressure that's over the southwest. It is pumping some moisture in our direction, but not enough to give us any showers or thunderstorms as we hit this weekend. But an uptick in relative humidity, you'll feel it, especially for the mountains and over the mountains by the afternoon hours to actually know that that presence is there. A little bit of that monsoonal moisture will have some cumulus clouds building up, but it will not be enough to produce some uh, atmospheric moisture so we're not looking at showers or thunderstorms with that just a little sticky out there keep that in mind for the forecast for this weekend as well as the heat that will be around because of a ridge of high pressure just towards the south that high pressure systems blocking out a tropical system tropical storm Christina will continue to move towards the east no impacts for us except along the coast the elevated surf will be felt that will be on Sunday also a high risk of rip currents look to return Christina will fade out into cooler waters and become a tropical depression as we go into the start of next week and we'll still be dealing with heat by Monday. So your surf forecast, we do have waves up to about three feet, low risk of rip currents at our local beaches. That will be the case for tomorrow. As I mentioned, not the same for Sunday, three to five feet, as well as a high risk of rip currents is expected by Sunday. Taking a look at your eight day microclimate forecast, not in the hot range, but definitely above seasonal for the coast as we hit those low 80s this weekend, mid 90s for the inland valleys, low 90s by Monday, then back to seasonal by Wednesday and Thursday, upper 90s for the mountains, 117 for the desert on Sunday.